Well, many people wonder why we have to follow the timing marks on the engine when we change a timing belt or a timing chain. Here is why. When you rotate the engine using this bolt of the crankshaft, the engine actually has compression in it, even if it's off. So when you rotate the crankshaft, the compression can make can can keep rotating the crankshaft a bit forwards or backwards depends on like what position is the uh, piston or like the piston has so remember to follow the marks and if your car doesn't have marks you can make your own like you can paint there or like make lines or something to remember so if it rotates by itself a bit so you can rotate it back and put it in place and what rotates is actually the crankshaft not the camshaft because the camshaft doesn't get affected by the compression that much but it can move too so you can mark both so yeah, here is why.